I'm looking here at the DJI base station and looking at how it connects to the Matrice 4 Enterprise. Now I've got it set up here, it's pretty windy so I'm trying to get a little bit of shelter around me otherwise I wouldn't have it set up this close to buildings, we want it right out in the open. But let's have a look at it, it's super simple to use. So first of all we have a fairly standard tripod, so really easy to set up, just pull the legs out. Then as you come in you'll see that there's a spirit level on the left hand side and you want to be getting that as level and flat as possible. Could be a little bit better for me. And now as you, as you look at it we've got some measurements up on the upper part of the tripod and then critically the on and off button. It really is as simple as this, it's just like any other DJI product, it's a short press, long press to turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, so the short press and the long press until we see those colours, get a little bit of music and then when it connects to my drone which is already switched on we will see the satellites go yellow so it's just just going through now and then when it's fully connected it will turn green so there we go we've got green now we can go and go back and have a look at the controller and see what it says there on the controller screen you can see that i'm already connected because it says the letters rtk up the top and that's in white you can click on that and it will show you the strength of your connection now in the top right hand corner of your screen you'll see that, see that there's three dots. Click on those and on the right hand side you want to click on the satellite. As you scroll down you'll see the precision of the coordinates that you're getting and you'll also see all the different satellites that are contributing to that position that you're receiving. So you can see that it's using GPS which is the American system, GLONASS which is the Russian, you've also got Chinese there as well. So there you go, you can see it really is as simple as switching it on and connecting and then flying. Now we've had this working on this particular trip with two drones connected at once with no issue. The only thing is, just like I've, I said at the beginning, just make sure that you're away from all the buildings, you really want to be out in the open space. But if I was doing that today, it'd be a little windy and you wouldn't be able to hear me properly.